Yes. Minji, yes. you said I came back Korea. I came back Korea. You need to say I came back to Korea. To Korea. And you said my family's travel. Yes. I would change travel to trip, my trip. family's trip, or even drop the S, my family trip. Um, what is the difference of travel and trip? Um, travel is more used as a verb when it's when you use travel as a noun. Um, trip is always going to be a noun. My trip, our trip. When would you use travel as a noun? Um, travel. Travel agency. Trouble agency. Even then, it would technically, I guess, be a kind of an adjective, right? Oh, that's true. Um, when we, you're not going to use travel as a noun as much. I'm. When I go to a company, is travel. I travel. Yeah. You're using it as a verb, right? Yeah. I like to travel. We travel to. I'm struggling to think of when you use travel as a noun. Um, traveling is difficult. You can use it like that. But when you're talking about your trip, don't just say trip. Or vacation works as well. Vacation. Uh, you said we don't have the direct line to go there. I think direct flight. Um, Not line. When you say direct line, it sounds like you're talking about a telephone. Um, and then you said already angries. Angry. Yeah. You can't say put an S on angries. You would just say angry. Angries is not a word, yeah. Mm -hmm. The verb of angry is anger. So anger. you could say that angers me, mm -hmm. but you can't say angries. Yes. Johnny, uh, you said I need to some challenge. Whenever you say I need to, you're going to follow it up with a verb, right? I need to eat, I need to play, I need to have some challenge. You need to throw a verb in there. I need to complete some challenge or have some challenge. I always need to have some type of challenge in my life in order to stay interested, blah, blah, blah. Um, again, again, similar thing. So you did it more than once. I need to responsibility. You have to follow I need to with a verb. I need to be responsible. I need to have responsibility. Uh, you said more, more, better. Better does not need more. And it de no. definitely doesn't need two of them. So, just better. You said one impressive scene when you were talking about Disneyland. When you say one impressive scene, it definitely sounds like you're talking about a movie or something like that. So I would maybe say, one thing I remember in particular was, or one place, one thing I remember in particular was, one scene I remember. Yeah, when you say scene, it sounds like you're talking about a movie. You can, you can, unless the, we sometimes use the word scenery to describe some mountains or something like that. That's different. But when you just want to say one specific thing I remember in particular, specific or particular, don't use both. That's kind of repetitive. Or impressive happened? Or one impressive thing that happened. The word thing is not the strongest word, yeah, right. but we use it quite a lot. Um, and then you said either me, but you wouldn't say either me, you would say me too, or uh, uh -huh. me also. Mm -hmm. Me too, or me also. And Suyong, mm -hmm. you said they have really passion. Change really to a lot of. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of passion. They have so much passion. They really have a lot of passion. You can add the word really in front of have, but you uh, want to say so much or a lot of. They had people full of room. What were you talking about? They had people full of room. Oh, maybe you wanted to say the, they had a room full of people. Yeah, that's true. Not that they had, they had a room full of people. And one more, you said, I'm not sure if I can tell it, boycott. Mm -hmm. You want to change, I think you wanted to say, call it call boycott. It. Because you weren't sure if that was a perfect example of boycotting, mm -hmm. right? So you said, I'm not sure if I can tell it, boycott. Or I'm not sure if I can call it boycott. When you're talking about what's something, defining something or naming something, you would say call and not mm -hmm. tell. And Jungmin, you said, two weeks ago, Saturday, 
you couldn't just say two Saturdays ago. Mm-hmm. Sounds a little bit better. And you said, do you know the anami? It's a person, so you're not going to use the word the. Oh, yeah. And you say, it touched my mind. Did you mean it touched my heart? Yeah, right. Okay. And you was, again, same topic. You said, the performance is already end. You could say the performance is already finished, but that sounds like it's just one specific day. Uh, I think what you were trying to say is uh, the exhibition is already finished? No, it's not an exhibition. You're talking, they had it there for like a couple of days or a week or even a month, but now it's gone. Yeah. Um, when you say the performance is already finished, mm-hmm. it just sounds like it's one specific day. Mm-hmm. So how would you say it? Uh, they, uh, the performance period is already finished, or I would probably just say something simpler like uh, they aren't showing it there anymore. They aren't showing it, uh, they aren't performing there mm-hmm. anymore, mm-hmm. like that. Let's just mm-hmm. say it like that, mm-hmm. and I can understand that it's something that was offered for a period of time, but now it's gone. Any questions? No.